So earlier today, I was reached out to by the barracks. They DM me on Instagram and they said that I had been selected to be part of the 24 that made it into the bracket where they would be competing on the caffeine app live. Only four lucky skaters will win and get to compete in the Battle of Barracks 13. So I was really hyped to hear that. What? Bro, I will buy a plane ticket tonight. I'm gonna reenact my actual response. Nigga, what? Dead ass, just like that. Obviously I was a little shocked and then a little confused because what if they made a mistake or something like that? I say that because I also reposted my good friend Darius's video and I tagged the barracks and ba Battle of the Barracks Next Gen. So I thought they would make a mistake like watching his video and then saying my name. I don't even care if I win any match, I just want to be in it. Even if I was just top four and they showed my clip, I know what some of you guys are probably thinking, like why would you mess with the barracks still after last year's turnout? You gotta understand, the little kid in me is hyped. I can understand your point too, like it'll probably be no better this year because they're gonna probably use the caffeine app more and more. Anyways, I'll find out tonight on Caffeine App. I was editing a YouTube video that was supposed to drop today, but I'm gonna put this video in front. Because of the time difference confusion, I didn't get to tune into the Caffeine App to see who was gonna advance to the next round. And so, I'm gonna just blind react to it right now, just see what he has to say. Hello, everybody. Here we are. Welcome to the skate show. Absolutely. It's dope that I even made it to the bracket anyways. Bracket? Or at least the Those prelim the bracket. We've been. Today, last week, I think we had 16, 16. This week, we have 32. Like, even if you don't win, you still get invited back to the barracks. Game one, we're doing First person. William, Gomez. William Gomez. Will Gomez from Miami. Really, really good at skating. And Julian Cummings. All right, <clears throat> you guys ready? Yeah, I wish you could see the comments. It was actually Steve. Nice. Yeah, Will William, he's pretty solid, bro. Like, you know, like pretty standard tricks to do in like Battle of the Barracks, but like super clean. And he has the same style, like landing every trick. Oh wow! There was no black spot between there. Am I yeah. supposed to just let them both run? Oh, hey guys. And it's cool, we both now got clips at lot 11. Back up a little bit, okay? Oh no, I'm just gonna let it Sorry guys. What? Wow. Switch laser and I'll look. That wasn't switch. <laughs> the laser flip was right. Yeah, it was a Merlin twist. But not switch. Ooh, that was tight. Okay, he liked it. Ooh, the golf. He backs the dolphin flip. Look, here's the thing. We're all going to talk about it. Here it is. And we're going to come up with it. Doesn't mean I'm always going to agree with you guys. And sometimes I will override the vote. Because I also have to look at this in, in one way, just to clear something. Is I have to be able to see what these guys can do, in a, not only in a fight night, but in a battle at the barracks when they're like up against like P-Rod or... Or Eric. Either way, like whoever is going to be up against P. Rod, Tyler, or Eric is going to be super nervous and you might choke. That could happen to any skater. There's a certain level that these guys have to skate at that I want to see. Okay? I feel like they're being a little bit more critical now on Battle of Barracks 13 based off of last year's match. They didn't really have to prove themselves, they just got selected randomly. And then it's like you, if you want to compete, you say yes and you accept it. You know, the turnout, some of them were like complete mismatches. No offense to anybody, I'm not throwing any names under the bus. Wherever they put you on the bracket, it could be a mismatch on purpose, potentially, right? Because we don't really see how they're putting your name on the bracket. Like, they know what they're looking for. They're looking for someone solid, someone well-branded. What's your clips say about you and then your style, too? Yeah, shout out to William. Got here, what do you guys? Gomez is solid. Will, Will, Will. <clears throat> Julian killed it. He did. Uh, first up base is coming, looks like it would be tricky. Can't really make out what he's saying. It sounds like he's saying first trick he did. Sounds like it looks a little bit tricky, but does he have it? I think they're talking about the pressure Alia did. All right, should we do a little vote? Let's do a little vote, guys. This is a little... It sucks. I can't see the vote right now in post. It doesn't look like it's a close match. A lot of people are just saying Will, like, right off the bat. We got Will from Miami. I've actually had dinner with Will. I've had him over at my house for dinner before. Wow, wow. He's had dinner with Steve Vera. Like Will has been over Steve Vera's house. I tried to wow the judges and be a little bit different because I'd imagine you're watching hundreds of 10 trick submissions. You want to see something different, but he's like matching up whoever he thinks could actually take on P-Rod and give him a run for his money or Jamie Griffin. 
So it's not about how hard your tricks are. Me, I didn't take my submissions super seriously. I just wanted to be first. Making myself more aligned with Jamie Griffin's bag of tricks, I still think this is fair. I, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it right here. I always, I, I think I pretty much got the consensus. Will Gomez, you're making it, you made it through the next round. Damn. All right, W, W, G. Will Gomez, hey, listen, Julian, you were, really, all right, Julian, you did a really good job. Will, you won, but Julian, you're now on our radar, so just don't think we're gonna forget about you, because we're not. Let's go. go. You want me to call? I didn't realize you were chill like that. All right, you're good. That dude was so sick. He did have rapport with Will already. The fact that I'm on his radar right now and I could be potentially brought back. I'm on some just happy to be here type shit, you know what I mean? People see like all the crazy tricks that I can do and they think that like, oh wow, I would never play you in a game of skate because they think that I'm gonna do all this shit. You would definitely see a whole different trick selection in the actual game of skate is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, shout out to my boy Darius Woods. I feel like he really should have made this bracket. There's a chance that he's on the radar. I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Hopefully I can get invited back Let's the go. to the bracket. You know what I'm saying? But thank you guys for watching this video, my reaction, and peace.